Hey y'all, it's Jamie again with another verse of the day devotional. I have a question. <clears throat> have you ever played the game telephone? It, if you haven't or you're not sure, if you're like, uh, maybe, but maybe not by that name. Uh, it's a game where one person comes up with a word or a phrase and whispers it to the second person. That person then whispers it to the next person, to the next person, to the next person. So this little message gets passed down without anybody really hearing it properly uh, until the last person says it out loud and you compare what was originally said to what ended up being heard. It's a lot of fun and it's super easy to play. You can play it with three people, 20 people, 100 people, super fun. Basically, the game comes down to paying attention, uh, understanding, and memory. As Ben and I are reading through the Old Testament right now, I started to think about all of the generations written about in the Bible and how God's laws and edicts were passed down through these generations a bit like a game of telephone. And as we work through Judges on Wednesday nights, even straight from God's mouth, to a judge, to the people of Israel, and then they just lose the game of telephone by forgetting what God said and fall away from God and trouble happens. You, you know what I'm talking about. Well, these crazy long games of uh, telephone about God's word gets pretty cleared up in Matthew 5. Now, if that sounds familiar, it should. It's the Sermon on the Mount. So starting with verse 21. Jesus begins this speech formula. You have heard that it was said, insert Old Testament law, but I say to you, and then a clarification. So finally, for everyone there listening, it should feel like the moment in telephone when you find out the original phrase. But Jesus goes even deeper. He uses this phrase six times in a row about murder, uh, adultery, divorce, swearing, and then the famous eye for an eye, turn the other cheek, and quotes the Old Testament each time. But the sixth time he uses this phrase, we see a change. This is Matthew 5.43. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. I want you, when I finish this statement, to pause this video, do a quick Google search. Find any verse in the Old Testament that says, hate your enemy. Welcome back. How'd your Google search go? Did you find anything in the Old Testament? No. The only time it's in the Bible is Matthew 5, 43. This quote that Jesus is telling them that they have heard is what really alerts us to something significant here. Jesus isn't quoting the Old Testament laws to correct them in some way. He is quoting what people have heard their teachers say about the Old Testament laws. See, people started playing this game of telephone with God's laws and meanings started to get twisted, but Jesus straightens it all out here in the Sermon on the Mount. Not only are these laws true to the people Jesus was talking to and to us today, but they apply as internally as they do externally. Love your neighbors and your enemies. Don't hate them. Sin begins in the heart. Now in our verse today, Matthew 5, 17, we see Jesus did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it to make it clear, to end the long and twisted game of telephone so that we would know exactly from God's own mouth what he meant with each and every law spoken generations before. I'm gonna read the verse of the day one more time. Matthew 5, 17. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. All right, I'm gonna pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. Lord, thank you for sending Jesus to us to help us understand even more your love for us, Lord, and help us with your laws that you give us that help us follow you. Lord, 
it is a choice to follow these and we know that, but Lord, thank you for your son who came and helped us with it and who took away all of our sin. In Jesus name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, I will catch you next time. Bye.